Good afternoon. Welcome in if you're here live or welcome whenever you're catching this recording at a time that's convenient for you. This is your Wellness Wednesday and I am your wellness advocate, Christy Gammon. So excited to be here with you for another episode. Today we're talking about wellness on a budget. And somewhere along the lines, I'm going to blame social media for the perception that living a healthy lifestyle is expensive. So maybe we see people, influencers online who just look like they have it all together and they always have. And every single health or wellness idea is already just in place in their life and thriving. Maybe you've even had this perception of me. I hope not. (laughs) I have been on my health and wellness journey for 12 years, and I promise you that every step of the way has been a step-by-step process. Master one thing at a time, and when I feel good in that area, then I add something new. And so I want to just underscore that The perception that living a healthy lifestyle is extravagant or expensive or difficult or out of your reach is nothing more. It's just a perception. And the reality is, is that anyone can do this. Anyone can live a healthy, well lifestyle. So let me give you some of my top tips and solutions to help you get started on your own path. Um, First up, doTERRA is amazing at providing a wellness box unlike any other subscription service you've ever seen. So you get the ability to add in whatever you want in a monthly order. You can skip a month. You can um, have it delivered directly to your door. You can qualify for free shipping. There are just, there's so much freedom based in this subscription service for you to be able to to choose the items that you want, the amount you want to spend, um, and really tailor it to your budget. The other thing I would love for you to do is maybe this is a mindset shift for some. Um, Instead of, now doTERRA has chosen the network marketing avenue because These little brown bottles of goodness require lots of education. They're powerful, they're pure, they're potent. We wanna make sure that you're using them correctly. And so they come with people like me for free because of our business model. And that way we can share what we've learned and help get you educated and empowered along the way. So um, that being said, just because we are in the network marketing business doesn't mean we're like other network marketing opportunities, such as uh, fingernails or makeup or handbags, things that are nice to have in your life, but aren't of the serious nature of your healthcare. And so maybe if you're going to a party or an event where some of those other things are being offered, you're gonna draw from the part of your budget that allows for something fun, you know, an expense. Whereas this should come from your healthcare budget. So wherever you're pulling to pay for your insurance, your visits to the hospital or the doctor, your prescription and other proactive healthcare needs, that's where this should come from. And so I know for us, we rarely go to the doctor or, um, None of us is on any prescription medication. Um, So our health insurance is extremely affordable, knowing that we're rarely going to use it. It's basically in place for catastrophic care for us. We are extremely focused and proactive in our health care. And so that opens up a whole pocket of money that maybe other people are investing in doctor visits and prescriptions and and surgeries and different things that we don't do. So once you start to make that shift, you can do the same thing that we did and just reallocate your healthcare dollars. Now, um, let's go with, I have a few different categories that I wanna talk about and they're all good. So let's go with sticking to a budget. Um, some tips for sticking to a budget. First off, cheers if you've got your water with you. Raise a glass. 
simply by drinking water as your dominant beverage, you're going to save so much on your grocery bill. I thought we would just look at water and healthy foods. So maybe um, eating healthy foods is something that in your brain, you just think, oh, I can't afford to do that. Um, you can cut so much from your weekly grocery bill if you're just focusing on drinking water. So you don't need a lot of juices, uh, soda or pop, however you like to describe that, energy drinks, um, sugary drinks, you name it. If you start eliminating a lot of those beverages from your weekly food budget, then you're going to open up so much space for healthy food items. Um, then you want to make a meal plan. You want to do meal prep and stick with it. I know the, the most difficult thing for us is that if we're not prepared and we get hungry, then I'll speak for myself here. I start to freak out and that's where running through a drive through or spending extra money on foods that are not healthy just feels like the right thing to do in the moment. It's convenient. Um, it maybe seems cheap, but I don't think it's cheap anymore. I think it's pretty expensive to eat out. And so we make that just a special thing in our lives. Um, we do not make multiple trips through drive throughs or out to eat during the week. And so that gives us plenty for our food budget for healthy foods that we know we want to eat and prepare at home. And so little things you can do like cutting up fruits and vegetables in advance, making sure lettuce is washed and ready to go, then it's always easy to prepare a quick meal like a salad or a smoothie um, for a snack. So you always have those healthy options at arm's reach. You don't necessarily want to buy all your organic items and more expensive uh, items at the grocery store in terms of a one-stop shop. You may want to look into places like Aldi, Trader Joe's, and local food uh, farmer's markets to get great deals on organic and in-season and local produce. Um, my favorite item in this category is ordering online. When this option came about a few years ago, it was life-changing for me. I have a very hard time being physically in the grocery store with so many temptations. And they put those foods that I know I don't want to eat everywhere. And they've got deals, you know, tags, like they're just fantastic sales. And they're just really not. In terms, in my life, I think of counting the cost of even if it seems cheap in the moment, how's it going to make me feel later? And what's the net on that food choice? And so I love ordering online because it saves me from lots of bad choices in the moment in the grocery store. You don't have to worry about that going to the grocery store hungry, which if you do go, <laughs> eat a healthy snack right before you go and that will save you as well. But my other favorites about ordering online is that it saves me time. I'm just sitting at my computer. I map out my meals for the week. I make a grocery list based on those meals. I enter it in. I hit send, it's paid, and then all I have to do, and I just tag it on to either picking up Kate from school or dropping off our neighbor to school, and I just swing through the grocery and pick up my order. If there are a couple of items missing, then I know I only have to run into the store to find one or two things, and then I'm done for the week. Um, so I love that tip. My top three principles to maintain wellness on a budget are one, sticking to my own needs. I don't compare, this is not as easy as it sounds, but it's a great principle to live by. Instead of looking to the left, looking to the right, just focus on yourself. And if you wanna compare, just look at who you were yesterday. And every single day, I just wanna be a little bit better than I was yesterday. And then that's all I have to worry about. That's my only concern. Just sticking to my own means and what's working for me in this moment and making little tiny improvements day by day. Second principle is don't continue to buy toxic things. Once you learn about something that's better for you, that's helping you, once you know better, then continue to do better. Just anchor into that new healthy habit and build upon it. And finally, keep it simple. There are so many things in your home right now, probably in your kitchen or your bathroom, that you could use to just make some DIYs and get a lot healthier with things that you already have. Ingredients like baking soda and vinegar can combine with a couple of other things, including our essential oils, to make all kinds of 
um, green cleaning products. So shower cleaner, oven cleaner, glass cleaner, shower pods, it goes on and on. Um, so those are my top three principles. And then my favorite things to use every day, this was hard because now that I am 12 years into my wellness journey, I do have a lot of things on this list. Um, starting with my little brown bottles of goodness, all my essential oils and my lifelong vitality pack. I love doTERRA's supplements. And so those I really see as foundational. Um, in addition to that, daily or several times a week, depending on my routine, I'm using doTERRA's spa line, their skincare, their health, their hair care, their entire on guard line, abode line, and adaptive products for my mind and mood. So this is covering hygiene, skincare, and hair care, um, really overall mind, body, spirit support in addition to my green cleaning. And you have the ability to target your wellness. So um, like I mentioned, the adaptive line for mind and mood. When I'm talking about every day, that's one that I've chosen to really focus in on. Um, I have other supplements like turmeric for pain and inflammation or uh, Mito2 Max for energy. And I'll use those as needed, but you have the freedom to target the health goals or wellness objectives that you have in any area. So maybe that's digestive health or immune health. Maybe you want to focus on relief, your respiratory system, or your sleep. Those are just some ideas for you. And then let's finish with, <clears throat> okay, I've got two more for you. Let's finish with my top five favorite things that you can do for your health right now for free. Number one is prayer and meditation. Number two is a deep breathing practice. And if you're not sure how to do deep breathing, you're, you are invited to join me every Wednesday evening, most every Wednesday evening for a guided prayer and meditation session where we incorporate deep breathing in an essential oil every, almost every Wednesday at 8 p.m. You can find me uh, on Facebook at Christy Gammon or on YouTube, Christy Gammon there as well. <clears throat> you can step outside. Hopefully you have a beautiful sunny day like I do here in central Ohio and soak up 10 minutes of vitamin D for free. You can do this almost every day, even if it's not super sunny, as soon as the weather starts to get nicer and, and even through the, the colder winter months, if the sun is visible at all, even if it's um, hidden by some clouds, you can still get the benefit of that free vitamin D. And you can soak up 10 to maybe 15 minutes without worrying about having to have sunblock and then find a shady spot. Move your body. There's so much freedom here to just have a singing, dancing party in your living room, doing some simple stretches. The sky is the limit, but any way you want to choose to move your body, it doesn't require fancy clothes or exercise equipment to get moving. And finally, your joy. If you have a joy list, um, then I like to incorporate lots of different ways to practice self-care and bring joy into my life, which just elevates my mind, my mood, my energy level, and um, invests proactively in my health and wellness. My joy list includes 10 to 15 items that don't cost anything at all. There are things that I already have on hand in my home or things that I can do that don't cost me any money. You can add some things that also cost money, like going out to a movie or a nice dinner out. Um, but I always like to have the balance of those things that you can do completely for free so that there's never um, anything, an obstacle in your way of bringing joy into your life. And I recommend doing that on a weekly basis to start and incorporating more and more until you get up to one joy list item every day. And so let's finish with how to get started. I recommend looking at just one room at a time. This is what I did and little by little over time, you can give your whole home, your whole life a makeover. Um, and then once you're within that room, maybe just look at one product at a time um, per month. 
So one example might be you step into the bathroom because that's where your medicine cabinet is. And you're just going to slowly transition this to a natural medicine cabinet. So maybe you already have deep blue rub and you love to grab that for your neck and shoulders, that tension that maybe just sets in. Um, think about adding to that. Maybe you acquire some Epsom salts and a favorite essential oil. And the next thing you know, you're taking a luxurious detox, detox bath that just completely up levels your relief gain. Or maybe let's consider the kitchen. Maybe you already have an abode or an on guard foaming hand wash at your sink, which is amazing. And your on guard foaming hand wash, maybe you know this, maybe you don't, can also be used as a fruit and vegetable wash. Yes, our on guard hand wash is so safe. It's so powerful that it gives you all the protection that you're looking for. And it's so safe that you can also wash your fruits and vegetables with it. Just a couple pumps. You may want to add um, some lemon essential oil if you have that on hand with some water in a soak and 15 minutes later your fruits and veggies are ready to go but let's say you also want to try our dishwasher pods which i absolutely love you add those in and the following month now you have two amazing solutions going on in your kitchen up leveling your game in that room and then you can just continue to build and build um, <clears throat> over time, you're just going to keep replacing any toxic products you find throughout your home, one room at a time, one product at a time, implementing more and more clean and healthy solutions for you and your family. I think once you notice the difference, just how you feel in your body, mind, and spirit, you're going to want to keep going. Um, there are lots of ways to get started within our doTERRA family. If you haven't already, you can open your own account. And uh, right now, there's never been a better time to do it because you get to choose whatever you want. As long as you build a qualifying order, you can get free shipping and you can get your new account for free as well. So that's going to save you a minimum of $36.99. Sorry, doing math, $41.99 even more savings for you. Um, once you have your own account, I highly recommend that you opt in to the loyalty rewards program. Here you can also qualify for a free oil every month, free shipping, and free points to spend on products in the future. So lots of great budget um, opportunities there. And finally, you also have the, or, the opportunity to place either a retail or a standard order anytime. You're just not gonna save as much money with those. So I like to make sure people are educated on how to set up their own account and opt in to our loyalty rewards for maximum savings. I hope all of this has been really helpful to you. If you have any questions about wellness on a budget or any other health need or concern that's coming up for you, please reach out to me anytime. I would love to connect and support you in this way. Uh, next up, join me next week, same time, Wednesday at two o'clock Eastern. I will be covering some highlights to the doTERRA cleanse. I know for me, I just started my cleanse on Monday of this week. It's a 30 day cleanse. If you'd like to jump in and do it with me, you're more than invited, but this is something that you can do anytime. And one of the side benefits of the cleanse, which is why I'm following today's episode with the cleanse episode, is that it really helps me get organized. It's got me counting out my supplements, planning my meals, my refrigerators cleaned out and stocked with exactly what we're going to be eating for the next um, week at a time, but I've got a plan going in the back of my mind for healthy meals for a full month. And so I just, I love the way that a cleanse can kickstart a lot of other healthy habits. And so maybe that's going to work out well for you. Join me next week and find out. Um, can't wait to meet with you. And in the meantime, here's to your continued health and wellness. Take care.